Let's write the net ionic equation for CaCl2 plus Li2CO3. This is calcium chloride and we have lithium carbonate. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. And it looks like if we put a two in front of the lithium chloride, we'll have two lithiums here, two lithiums here, two chlorides, two chlorides here. Then we have the carbonate, carbonate, calcium, and calcium. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. That looks like this. So chlorides are very soluble, so they're going to be aqueous, dissolve in water. Carbonates in general are insoluble unless they're bonded to a metal from group one, like lithium. So lithium, since it's in group one, this is going to be a soluble compound. So calcium carbonate, that's going to be insoluble. Just a little bit will dissolve. So it's going to be a precipitate and fall to the bottom of the test tube. So this is our solid here in our double displacement reaction. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. And that looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. So I can see in the reactants here, I have two chloride ions. In the products, I also have two chloride ions, spectator ions, cross them out. Two lithium ions in the reactants and in the products. Those are spectator ions, we're gonna cross those out. But what's left, that's the net ionic equation for CaCl2 plus Li2CO3. I'll clean this up. We'll write the states and have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for calcium chloride plus lithium carbonate. Note that we didn't split the calcium carbonate apart into its ions because it's a solid. So we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. If we look at the charge, we have two plus and two minus. That adds up to zero net charge of zero. This is neutral here and the product's net charge of zero. Charge is conserved. And if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. V with the balanced net ionic equation for CaCl2 plus Li2CO3. Thanks for watching.